Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Outlook to Slack. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we first need to log in into our Slack account. Now, once we are logged in into our Slack account, what we need to do is we need to add an application that we want to connect to Slack, which in this case is going to be Outlook. So at the left side here, you should be able to see your panel here. Go ahead and click on the more option here and look for the option that says apps. Now under apps, what we need to do is we need to look for Outlook. So just type in Outlook here and just press on enter. And once you see Outlook here, what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate application that we want to connect. So we have the Outlook calendar here, which in this case will actually sync your status, respond to invites and see your schedule. Now we also have to send emails into Slack and discuss them with your teammates. Now, for example, we want to connect our Outlook calendar here. Let's go ahead and click on add. And from here, what we need to do next is we just need to install Outlook, Outlook Calendar into Slack. So let's go ahead and click on Add to Slack. And from here, it's going to ask us if you want to actually connect our account. So let's go ahead and click on Allow. Now on the next page, it's going to ask us to sign in into our Outlook account. In this case, let's go ahead and enter our Outlook I mean, email here and just click on Next. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to provide our password. So let's go ahead and provide our password here and click on Sign In. Now, once you are signed in, it's going to ask you for some permission here. In this case, go ahead and read all the permissions that they'll be reading or they'll be needing here and just click on the accept button that you see at the bottom right of your screen. Now, once you've done that, it should start the uh, connection process now. But in this case, it's going to ask you break free for a password here. Uh, if, the, if you want to use this, you can go ahead and click on get it now. But for now, I'm going to click on no thanks. Now from here, it's going to start the connection process. Let's just wait for it. Now it's going to redirect us into Outlook Calendar here. So in this case, you could go ahead and just wait for it to load up. Now, once you go back into your Slack account, you should be able to see the Outlook Calendar now connected into your Slack account. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you now that you all set, try turning on automatic status updates. Now, your Slacks or your status in Slack will automatically update based on your calendar when you are in a meeting, out of office, or working remotely. But in this case, you can go and click on turn on or no thanks, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.